take time to be holy. Speak up with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Divine Father, we give you all the honor. We are blessed to be in your presence. We are blessed to know you. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. A divine, your children that come in here testify of you. Those that come in contact with you are happy. They are happy and thrilled. Thank you for them. In Jesus' name. Amen. For making them happy and making them joyful. We are also joyful. Yes, Lord divine, we go forward now. May the Lord speak to us and walk on us. Amen. I love you. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord, it is his desire that we meet together and share from his word and give him the opportunity to bless us to work on us and perfect us that's the mind of God yesterday I said the Lord said go round and gather my people for me for I am coming I'm seeing it real. We're actually gathering the people for God. And I inform you that the Lord is coming. So what we are doing now is practical. I'm asking that the understanding of your person will be enlightened. You will join in this thing seriously. You will come in fully. You will come in fully to the ark. When I mean the ark, when I talk of the ark, I mean the salvation of God. The righteousness of God. The truth of God. I'm speaking to you on the privilege of knowing the truth. The privilege, what a great privilege. The privilege of knowing the truth. It is not everybody that knows the truth about life, about God, about life after here. Not everybody knows this. It is a privilege 
that you know the truth. It is a privilege that you are here. Great privilege. The Bible is called the book of God. It contains great, great truth. In fact, it is the book of truth. And yet, many people are unaware of the truth in the Holy Bible. Many people. By it, by the Bible, we know the truth, do the truth, and inherit eternal life. Because it, the Bible is the word of eternal life. In the book of John, chapter 6, John chapter 6, I read verse 66 to 69. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and assure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou hast the words of eternal life. The Bible contains the words of eternal life. Here we see a people that have discovered it. Peter and the other apostles discovered this. The words of eternal life. And by their discovery, they have now inherited eternal life. They are now in heaven. They are there. Why? They discovered the words of eternal life. I appreciate your testimonies. All of you that come here and say, I am so happy the Lord brought me to the place of truth that contains I mean, that uh, preach uh, the word of truth, beautiful, the word of eternal life. It, what you are saying is, the Lord brought you to the place where you can possess eternal life. Where you can now live forever because of the words you are hearing. The words. The words that I speak to you, they're the words of life. So, Peter said, we're going nowhere. And someone said, this is my last bastard. You have the words of eternal life. How do I leave? We leave you and go to whom? To whom shall we go? You know, the question Jesus asked them is, Verse 67. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? The answer could have been, To where shall we go? No. To whom? Because he that is sent has the words of eternal life. Amen. It's not everybody that has it. It's not everywhere you find it. There is a person that the Lord has ordained, given the words of eternal life. And here was the Messiah, the eternal word himself. If we leave you now, to whom shall we go? That's the question. To whom shall we go? Now, we're going to talk about this. Now, I told you not everybody knows this truth. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, Isaiah 
Isaiah chapter twenty chapter twenty-nine verse ten to verse fifteen. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and hath and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered the prophets, your rulers, the seers, he had covered them. <clears throat> now, it came to a time in Israel that this scripture was the case with them. God has put upon you the spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes from the truth. Close your eyes from the truth. The people were gone into idolatry. There was no knowledge of truth. And how did it happen? He said, the, in the prophets, he closed the eyes of the prophets. The rulers closed the eyes of the rulers. And uh, the seers, he closed their eyes. So they were in darkness. In darkness. No knowledge of truth. That was the situation. So in their condition, their condition, their depravity of truth, the, the absence of truth among them is likened in to verse 11. What the Bible says in verse 11, and the vision of all is become unto you as the weights of a book that is sealed. The knowledge of truth is in the book, but it is sealed. The weights of life are in the book, but the book is sealed. Who's the book is sealed? So, truth got so absent. People had no access to the truth. The truth got sealed to some set of people. Now, he said, which mean deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee, for truth is there. And he said, I cannot read, for it is sealed. See, hard thing. Life is in this book. Read it. He said, no, it is sealed. I can't read it. I can't read it. It is sealed. Why is it sealed to him? The Lord sealed it. Truth is precious. Don't give it to dogs. God sealed the truth to them, even to the learned, because they were dogs. Don't cast your peers before the swine. That's where God shut up the truth from them. Learn it as they were. Educated, wise as they were, but destitute of truth because the Creator didn't give them. It's a serious matter, my brother and sister. The Creator didn't give it to them. He, he laughed at their wisdom. Mm. He laughed <coughs> at their intelligence. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Are you going to boast over the wisdom of this world, education of this world, because you learn about trees? You learn about animals? You learn about some sound, how to use sound? I didn't see your wife enough to compare with this great girl. He sealed this thing from them. <laughs> Jesus said, Thou hast done well. They have concealed this thing from the wise and protect. So, it got sealed. I'm saying this truth today 
is sealed to many people. Sealed. Then it goes. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Not sealed. <laughs> not sealed. And he said, uh, and saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. In this time, it was not sealed, but the man cannot see. Unfortunate for him, he is not learned. He is looking at writings, he, he does not know what is inside. He is seeing writings, words, he does not know what the words are saying. Hmm. Is this not true with the congregations we have today? Their leaders have a sealed book. The congregation, the people, have an open book, but a sealed mind. They see the words, they don't know what the words are saying. This scripture say, tells us why the situation came up so. We are for the Lord's sake, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. That's the reason. They are not interested to do it. So why are you giving them? They are not interested to preach it. Why opening their understanding to it? They are not interested to practice it. Why are you giving it to them? You didn't hear the word? Don't give holy things to dogs. The word is pure. The word is clean. The word given understanding. The word gives wisdom. The word is light. They are not interested to walk in the light. Why giving it to them? So, it is not given them. And in verse 15, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. And their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Ah. They hide their counsel from the Lord. They're sinners. They're not looking for Him. They go into the deep for iniquity. They commit great iniquity. They do wickedness even in the house of God. They're drunkards. They're thieves. <coughs> witches and wizards. And so the Lord didn't give them the holy word. I'm telling you. The Lord didn't give them. It is sealed. And Jesus is happy about that. That the word is sealed. Look at it in Luke chapter 20, chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. Bible tells us in verse 21 In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said I thank thee O Father Lord of heaven and earth that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto birds. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Hid from the wise and prudent. Hid from the wise and prudent. Hid from the wise and prudent. It's painful. You boast of wisdom. 
both rather of folly, because your wisdom of this world has turned you to foolishness. I see some of my brethren, the black skinned, crying, mourning because of uh, white superiority. <coughs> that the whites look down upon them. I was reading a book yesterday of a black American that was, as I read the book, I saw that the, 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 the author was grieved in his heart, in her heart, because of um, the deep oppression of the whites who, who have exalted themselves above of the blacks, as though the blacks were monkeys, not full human beings. Hey, the last day, I hate the truth of eternal life and death. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's hidden from the wise and prudent. What is the color of the skin to do with eternal life and hellfire? Mm -hmm. What is the color of the skin to do with hell? to do with eternal life. But you prove wisdom, I keep pre precious things from you. I keep it. You think you are great. Okay, I'm avoiding great people. Go and learn your lesson. Answer this question. Where was Jesus born? If Jesus came for greatness, could he have been born there? If the father cherished greatness, could he have allowed his son to be born in a manger? Then why, what's, what's greatness? What, what's the greatness of this life? Vanity. Vanity. This truth is hid from great preachers who go about making noise. They don't know these things. The book is sealed. I'm telling them, telling you. And they and the, their congregations are unaware of what is going on. The word of eternal life. They don't know it. But thou has hid this thing from the wise and prudent. If you make any boasting, truth will invade you. If you are proud, it's then you are empty. The truth will get out. The Bible says this thing is not flesh and blood. You don't learn them, but by the revelation of the Father. Flesh and blood does not have not revealed this unto you. But my Father which is in heaven. So if the word of life is by revelation in your heart and it normally sleeps, sleeps off from the proud. If you are proud, nothing is inside you. Because God is humble. For I am meek and lowly in heart. Take my yoke upon you. If you know this, if your ministry is growing, as it grows up, you grow down. Amen. Otherwise, truth will invade you. He said in Romans, I mean, First Corinthians chapter one, I read from verse eighteen. First Corinthians chapter one. Verse 18, you can read all through to 31. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. In Canada, in the hotel where we were, one of our pastors was speaking of Jesus to a white man there. He said, that's the imagination. You are just 
you are, you are, it's fantasy. You put something in your mind and you're pursuing it, an imagination, meaningless. That is it. It is to them that perish foolishness. Those who see you as being foolish in this matter are dead people. They are perishing. They are not living. Those who see this, whatever is their scheme, their education, their, their riches and wealth, they are those that are perishing. God has kept this thing from them. They are perishing. They are laughing at you practicing Christianity. Whoa. They are perishing people. The, the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. It's a drunkard. That's why he doesn't see. Drunk with dead. That's why he's not understanding you, considering you foolish. But to us which are saved, it is the power of God. It's God manifesting his power in our lives. Because all things become possible. Your sins can be forgiven. Your life can be changed. You can receive miracle. You can receive blessing. You can receive joy. You can receive all through preaching. We're sitting here with expectation, are we not? Because we know the value. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Worldly prudent, worldly wise. And destroy their wisdom. They should pity the whites because their creator has, made, has rendered them nothing as far as life is concerned. The most despicable objects in life who don't know him. For the fool has said in his heart, There is no God. Pity them. Instead of envying them and feeling, hey, they are oppressive, is it because they think that you have not understood yourself? You have not understood their state? You don't know the corner God has put them in life? That you should mourn for them. You should cry for them. You should pity them. Dead people. That's the world. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Had not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Has not God? And you, don't be practicing wisdom because that's great fully. Maybe you're coming to this church, this movement, and you're practicing personal wisdom. And you know, if you know, I want to show that you are the fool here. I'm telling you, you are the fool. That exercise of personal wisdom puts you at the corner of a fool. That's something you need to know. God says so. God says so. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to serve them that believe. By, the, by that which you term, the world terms foolishness, he puts it down like that. <laughs> Except you will deprive, you will clean off those uh, filthy wisdom of, uh, of the flesh. You will not be in the region of eternal life. If you will not be a fool, let him that will be wise be a fool that he might be wise. But if you want to maintain fleshly wisdom, you will never be in the region of eternal life. You will not. God will refuse you. He will refuse you. If you were not, if God, if how do you judge it then? If God were not foolish, could he allow man to do to me what he, the man has done? Man will slap him. Professor for us. Could you have allowed that? But there's wisdom in foolishness. And that which you consider foolishness is the greatest wisdom. 
Can you just remove those? Remove those type of uh, dirty things from your mind called wisdom. Fleshly wisdom. Real wisdom is the word of God. Clean yourself from those things if you will live. Otherwise, you're in the region of the dead. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Why don't you accept that which human beings call foolishness? Because you will be saved by it. When they see these women that strip themselves of the jewelry, they say, how foolish are these people? But that's where eternal life is. That is where wisdom of eternal life is. Because that is what pleases God. That which you say is foolishness is when the greatest wisdom is the wisdom of life. Mm. Go to that wisdom. Go to the region of that foolishness which God has prepared for the wise. If you want to live. Otherwise, ah, no, I can't be so foolish. Then you are not in the region of life and not in the region of life. That's the scripture. And you that did consider you foolish, you were the real people in life. Because when your creator came to the world, he behaved before man as a fool. Because man looked at him and laughed at him. You say you are God. Ah, uh ah, -uh, come, what do you mean? Save yourself from there. Then we know that God, that is not where power is. Save yourself from there. Did he do it? To them, that is foolishness. <laughs> what are you reserving your power for? But that's where wisdom is. Because to save a man is not by acrobatic show. It has to, it deals with the heart. And God knows the only way to get at the heart is the way he was following. Yes. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified. Unto the Jews a stumbling blow. How can our God, our Christ, be crucified? It's not possible. And unto the Greeks foolishness. How will you say God? God to be crucified, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For by it we are saved now. It was for our sake he was the cross. God condemned us. God came down to receive our condemnation upon himself. If he never went to the cross, the condemnation will remain on us. He had to go to the cross to remove, to take the condemnation upon himself. Are you saying it's foolishness? Are you saying it's foolishness? Because he's doing what we would have so far, but he's carrying it upon himself. You are saying he's foolish? That's the greatest good you can do in this life. Great is good. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Those who count that what God does is foolishness. I'm saying this because in case there's somebody here who feels he's wise or she's wise in her own conceit, wise in his own conceit, I am saying you're in the, in the region of darkness. Because the wisdom is to follow to do what your brethren are doing in the name of Jesus. Follow it. Wisdom is to follow this teaching. That is where wisdom is. Outside this is darkness of, of foolishness. I'm telling you. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. 
So where, where, who is that man that is saying God is foolish or that the ways of God are foolish? The teachings of God are foolish. Or because the simplicity of God is weakness. He doesn't have the power. Hey. For, for ye see your calling, Braven, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and best things of the world, and things which are despised, had God chosen yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are. If you want God to lay hand upon you, go to the region of nothing. Nothingness, he will pick you from there. Amen. Join the congregation of foolishness, he will pick you from there. Amen. And he will surprise the wise of this world. Hallelujah. Amen. Never you ever say the ways of God are foolishness. Mm. Don't. Never you ever point hands to the children of God and say they are foolish. Don't. For God has done wonders over their lives. Yes. These people you are saying, they are going to be kings and priests eternally with God. Hallelujah. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Why do you bother about foolish people glory? Why trouble? No flesh. There is no single flesh creature rests upon the earth that have any glory in the presence of God except those who are conformable to him in the world. No flesh. I'm telling you, when I say this words, I was having so much fun like this. Hey, God, hey, what can we do for these people? Which language do we speak that they will understand? Oh, Jesus, look at these people. Ah, I'm busy pitying them. Why are you are busy saying, hey, look at him. He feels he's a great man. Look at what he's doing to me. What are you, what is he doing to you? You should pity his days. You should pity his days. You should go in the sorrow of his days. Is it this house? Is it vehicles? Is it companies? Is it what that you are thinking that mean anything in this life? Nope. For the earth will pass away. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. One thing is needful. Mm -hmm. It is this foolishness that you have chosen. A way of foolishness is the essential thing, the most important thing. Matter! You are busy about life, and Mary has just said the thing that is relevant. Mm -hmm. God, to sit with them. Mm -hmm. The wise ones are using all opportunities to make money, to do over time, to get job there, to get job there, to get job there, and have no place for God hey. because of money. That's foolishness. Yes, yes sir. That's, right. That's foolishness. Because you will die. You will one day die and face this man, this God that you neglected him. You, what will you then say? What will you say? You must leave this walk. Mm -hmm. For we see people die. What will they now say to the creator? Which they never created time for him because they needed money. Mm -hmm. There was no time for him. Yeah, if you are, if you're not wise, you can't make it in America. If you're, they rather say if you're not foolish. <laughs> hey. Foolishness that you spend all your time for money and there's no time for God. Amen. Hey, you turn yourself upside down. I'm telling you, you turn the whole thing upside down. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I, I told a story of a man that I had. 
He, he didn't know how to read, but he wanted to show people that he could read. So he bought the newspapers in Nigeria, in one of the towns in Nigeria. He turned the newspapers upside down. He didn't know the difference. He said, what? They're doing wonders in Lagos. <laughs> But somebody will come there and say, this is a foolish man. <laughs> that's a man in America that spends his time for money and does not make provision for God. It's mm. a foolish man. Because you stand before this God. What would you say? You will leave all the money can buy on yes. earth. Yes. Naked, I find, naked, I came out of my mother's womb, and naked, I shall go back. The Lord has given and he has taken away. He will remove everything you got in the earth. He will remove them. He will go naked. I visited the house of uh, a relation. Uh, he, he, is, he is an artist. He designed, designed a man on, on the wall in his parlor. I saw the buttocks of the man facing me like this. And a narrow part on before, before him. I was wondering because I said, well, which type of dirty thing is this? In your pillow? <laughs> <laughs> so when I asked him, why is this? He said, okay. Do you remember the book of Job? Naked I came from uh -huh. my mother's womb. <laughs> naked I shall return. That man you are seeing naked there is already is of his returning. He <laughs> suddenly became relevant. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That's it, that's how you will go. Mm. That's how you will go. And then the Lord shall say, Ye fool, come and give a come. Who shall be this thing that you have gathered all your days? It will be provision that the Lord has consecrated this weekend for his name. It will be provision. If you were sick, if the Lord takes away the health he gave you and you got sick, would you carry yourself to hold to the walking place? You will say, oh, I'm not able to come. You can also be unable to come with the presence of God here. Yeah? You have not understood him. You have not understood him. It's unfortunate. So, that's what the word of God is saying. That according as, um, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us, wisdom. Jesus is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Hallelujah. If any man can ever glory in America, is the man that knows the Lord. Amen. Not the smokers that are going about naked on the street, drug pushers and ad addict, but with color with, with, a, with a different skin. He says, ah, these are owners of America. Hey, they are. What do you mean by that? If any man has any joy, it is that he knows the law, the creator of this land. That's right. The book is sealed. The book is sealed. It's unfortunate that the book of life is sealed to these people. It's unfortunate that they need to know it in there. Sealed. Sealed. Sealed to many churches. Many of these great preachers, they, they, they don't know these things. They don't know it. And as for those others, what made them? But the book was not sealed to them. What happened that they could not understand? They could not pick the message. Why not? Ah, the Lord gives us the reason. Second Corinthians chapter 4. 
I read verse 3 and verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 and verse 4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, shall shine unto them. The demon has walked upon this competition. That they have the Bible, they are seeing the words they don't know the meaning. You read and talk it, but they, are, they cannot understand. Evil spirits are blinding their hearts. Sister, if you find yourself unable to know what we are saying, to bring out meaning, even from this meeting, even from this service, you don't even understand. What is he saying? Satan is behind you. Satan has done a special work to cause this book to have no meaning to your life. Your heart is unfruitful mm. because you are given to sin. You have given yourself to iniquity. And therefore, this book has no meaning to your life. It's not sweet. The devil has blocked you from it. If our gospel, glorious gospel of eternal life is if our gospel, as the apostle said, is hid, hidden, obscure to you, is because you are lost. Why are you lost? The God of this world, Satan, has worked on you. Yes, Satan's power. If you will come to this place and leave this place with all you hear, go back to immorality, you're lost. Mm. Forever. I'm telling you, lost under the authority of Satan, the God of this world, blinded your mind. Your mind cannot understand. You have put yourself in iniquity. You must cry out. I said, God help me, I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Darkness. I can see darkness in my life. I can't understand what I'm dying. You must cry it out. Amen. Amen. That's the word of God. That is what you are hearing. And that's what God wants you to know. It's painful. But we're going there. In the book of Matthew, chapter 13. Let's go there to get it because we're going somewhere. Matthew, chapter 13. I want to read. Verse 14. From verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, who said, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. A woman in witchcraft told me some years ago, he said, I will be in the church. They will preach, it will burn my heart. But I leave the door, immediately I leave the door of the church, I don't remember anything about it. Mm. Ah. Then, when it burns, at the moment it is touching your heart, why didn't you cry? Mm. Why did you wait until the, you meet the devil outside the door of the church? Why did you wait? You love that devil. You love him. Otherwise, quit 
the word born in your heart, you will cry out as a self Lord. You didn't do it. You waited for when Satan to go and meet him outside the door. And he cleaned out. You are the seed that fall on the wayside. You didn't use the word and the birds of the air. So it and picked it out of you. Who is responsible? Is it Satan or you? You were careless. As the word comes, get it and begin to cry out. Lord, have this. I don't want to go outside the door of this house until you've done something in my life. Amen. Because my enemy is waiting outside. Amen. God will answer you. Amen. He will bring that power in your life. Amen. Angel will pick up Satan, cut Satan at the door, and that Satan will not be in America. <laughs> For your sake. Amen. I'm telling you. Telling you. That's what God expects of your life. Yes. For these people's heart is worse gold, and their ears are dull of hearing. And their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Can you see it's a purposeful thing? So how will the Lord be giving them precious words? How will the I told you the book is sealed because they are not interested in righteousness. They are not interested in holiness. They want to make money. They want to make me. They want to gather women and commit immorality with them. So God didn't give them the revelation of truth. They teach other things except truth. That is it. The book is sealed. Now, my brethren, this thing is like that all over the world. It is like that in the churches. This book is a sealed book. This truth is sealed in many churches of the world. Even among the learned, great, wise, renowned preachers, the book is sealed. The truth of God. They are not aware of it. They don't know it. And since they don't know it, the members under them don't know. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They don't know. When Jerusalem, the Jews, the Pharisees in Jerusalem, they didn't know the truth. The Ethiopian you know, that was coming from Jerusalem, did you know what he was reading? Mm -hmm. no. And yet he was coming from a conference in Jerusalem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Philip asked him, Do you understand what you are reading? You are coming from Jerusalem from the conference. He said, How can I? Except some man should guide me. Members of Pharisee churches. Who can except somebody from the light will guide them? And I was in darkness. With all the conferences, with all the all in darkness. That's the state of the church. The church is in darkness. God has taken his truth away from them because they're not worthy for it. They're not worthy. He, did, he, has called, he calls them dogs now and said, Don't cast, don't give holy things. The truth is holy. When man committed sin in the garden of Eden, the Lord protected the tree of the, the tree of life from him. In fact, he put a flaming sword, lest he will come back and eat the fruit of life, the tree of life. So the Lord is, this truth is not known to them. Sin has taken them over. So there's no truth. There's no truth. And to the, these other churches and all these various kinds, 
They see it as uneducated men. They have no knowledge of the scriptures. All they are seeing, they see words. They go to tell stories every Sunday. <laughs> no understanding of what is written down here. Whatever interpretation they like, they give it, give to the scripture. No knowledge. No understanding. Why? Since they have decided to be serving God with their lips of me, not to involve their hearts, since they purposely close their eyes from God, God therefore has removed the truth from them. That's the state of the world now. That's where the wicked shall be turned to hell, and all nations, all churches, Denominations that forget God. All preachers, they're going there. Hell. He has no problem with their going there because some people have gone before them in the days of Noah. He said only eight in the days of Noah. See, God is used to it now. <laughs> he got only three. Seven. Don't play with them. Don't allow anybody to play politics over your carry away this thing from you. Be careful, let no man take your crown. Amen. That's the word. Let no man take your crown. Therefore, having gotten this, so this drug is working. This is your sickness that you have been struggling from place to place. You never go to the show. So you go to a drug that is working, buy more of it. You hear me? Buy more. Buy the truth and send it out. Explore and get more. To know this thing deeper. Get more of this truth. Search for it. Get more of it. Get more. This truth that changed you like this. This truth that brought peace to your life. Brought peace to your heart. Set your peace between you and another. Get your assurance of heaven. Delve yourself more into it. Amen. Amen. Acts of Apostles chapter 17. I read verse 11. And these were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the world with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so, verse 12. Therefore, many of them believed also of honorable women which were Greeks and of men not a few. They search the scripture. Give yourself to the study of the Bible. Listening to these steps. They are there in your, your YouTube. Click Holiness of Bible Movement. Messages will come. Righteous and holy. For you to eat and drink spiritually. Give yourself to it. Study. Get it. They, these ones went into the scriptures. I kept on reading. Kept on reading. Kept on reading. And got greater and greater conviction of truth that sedimented into their heart. Sedimented in their hearts. So delve into it. Don't allow yourself to be so carried away that you're not reading the Bible. Don't allow yourself to be so carried away. You are not listening to text again in your meeting. Coordinator, be playing text for these people. Those messages the Lord anointed are not as special as them. They are the packages He has given to the world this end time. Be listening to them. In your houses, be listening to them. In your meeting, be listening to them. Play, ask questions, share among yourself. Let it sink into it. The messages that changed you, that gave you eternal life. Yet thou hast the words 
اور فتح بنا انسان وان وان نائن سام وان وان نائن The Bible tells us in verse 97. Let me read from verse 97 to 106. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation of the day. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies. For they are ever within. I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy presence. I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might, I may, I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgment, for thou hast taught me how sweet are thy ways unto my test, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Let the word be sweet to you. Get more of it. Get more of it. Listen more. Study more. Go. Go forward. Go forward. Carry it along with you as you're traveling. Yeah, as much as you can find your play, time in your workplace, get yourself filled with it. Filled with this truth. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have shown and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. <coughs> Delve into it more. In First Timothy chapter four, <coughs> First Timothy chapter four, I read verse thirteen to verse fifteen. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Can you see the assignment Paul gave to Timothy? We also give assignment to you. Listen to church. For this year, we say listen to 120 messages. How many of you are doing it? Are there people here doing it? Uh -huh. You have come, go now into it. The rapture will pick you on the way. Those messages will clean you and perfect you and get you ready for the rapture. Amen. Amen. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by a prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that they profited in appear to all. Give yourself fully. Don't. Keep on coming here. Release yourself to these messages and these truths. Don't listen to any other thing. Don't allow any church to deceive you. Don't say hey, all churches are the same. All churches are not the same. All hospitals are not the same. All schools are not the same. So don't listen to those things. Give thyself wholly to them. Completely to them that the thy profiting, the benefit of your life will appear to all. So, explore, practice the truth. James chapter one, verse twenty-two to twenty-four. <clears throat> But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Be a doer of his word. Husbands, do your wives practice this word? They come to holiness, the viral movement. 
They hear the qualitative word, which many have no privilege to hear. Do they go to live in a <coughs> Or they still go to give you tough times at home. They're not doers. Wives, do your husbands who come to this movement listen to this message? Do they behave well? As people have seen the light, have seen the truth, do they? People who have gotten the privilege to hear from Jesus directly. Be it doers of the world. And not here is only one another. Do you behave well towards one another? Or you cheat one another? You come here after all this world. You don't go to practice it. You still tell lies. You still cheat. You play anger. You pull down things. You break things. Keep mal is not talking to each other. Hey. If you miss this place, if you miss the heaven this world will give you, this truth, your hellfire will be bigger. Because your hellfire is that of somebody who knows the truth and refuses to practice it. You are worse than the person who didn't know the truth. Because in hell, oh God, if I had known it, if I had known, if I had known, why would you be saying your own? What would you be saying? It shall be more tolerable for you. I mean, for Sodom and Gomorrah than for you. For if the works that are done in Jew were done in Sodom and Gomorrah, they had repented far in dust and ashes. Because they were in darkness. If this old was in very unfortunate, some of these innocent ones perishing in these churches, if they had opportunity to hear these messages, you would have seen them. Jumping, fresh. But why could you hear, how would we hear them and behave differently? Your judgment will not be the same. Because you've got more grace. He that climbs, many people climb up on a tree, and both and all fell, but the injury is according to the level of your, the height of your climbing up. The height, the injury is according to the height, your distance from the earth. For you to know this truth and play with it, no, your, your judgment is different. Don't play with it. Be a doer of the world. Practice it. Not easy, but go and plead with God. Take time pleading with God. When you're walking on the road, side, be pleading with Him. Be pleading with God. When you're walking on the road, side, it's like a, a lady, I mean, a brother in Nigeria. He went for NYC service, NYAC, National Youth Service Course, which uh, graduate from universities do. Uh, immediately they, they graduate for one year. So he, he is a medical doctor. He graduated as a medical doctor. Was posted to a state. And the young ladies there <coughs> were competing over him. This one said, I will be the one to catch him. This one said, I will be the one to catch him. I will be the one. You will see, you will see, you will see. So they were making competition. He was not aware that such a meeting was held. <laughs> so, this woman comes and says, Doctor, I'm sick. They'll dress fine. I said, Doctor, I'm sick. Oh, okay, you are sick. What's the problem? My womanhood. You need to examine it. <laughs> this one come. Various style. Eh? This brother, when, as I was told, as he would go to office in the morning, on the way he was praying, God, I didn't come to this town to die. I didn't come. All powers, all manipulations, you will never get me. I pull you down. I destroy you. Get out. He meant business. 
and none of those girls who were in the competition won. Praise the Lord. Walk on yourself. Pray. All those things should fail. That anger in your life, that lust, all this nakedness on the street. Pray that God should give you another heart. Amen. All these lies you tell, God take away the fear that makes me tell lies. Amen. Pray with Him. Cry. Be a doer of the world. For now you have no heaven is prayer. Testimonies have come from there. You now you have no hell is prayer. <coughs> Testimonies have come from there. Will you perish? No. 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 Walk up. Ensure you don't perish. Preach the truth. Preach this truth. Now that you know it. Now that you know that the truth is God's. You have come at the truth and have received the training. Don't pity man here. Preach the truth. Because some of these people that are sitting here, if you think you will pity them, they are not ready for heaven. Now let's go away, let's go away. You will lower everybody away from them. Oh. And yet you will not enter. Are you hearing me? Yes, Preach the truth. It is the truth that attracts people. Amen. And when they come, they will not go away. He that is not for the truth, let him go. Is that clear? Yes. Even when the people forsook Jesus, he, he asked the twelve, are you not going away? You're free to go. You don't want, you can go. But those who are looking for truth will want it. Yes. They will hear the testimony that truth is somewhere and they will come. Yes. So preach this truth and respect no person. Pity nobody. Jesus said to me, don't pity man, pity me. I went to the cross so fast. A man is wasting my waste is wasting my cross. I want to pity him. Pity me. Preach me in awfulness to the people. He that will take, let him take. He that will not take, let him go. Simple. Don't change the standard. If you see the wrong thing. In love, instruct the people. This one is wrong. Amen? Amen. Correct it. No, 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 I will go. A woman came to the meeting. And uh, uh, I she didn't cover her head. I chose, I, I chose to give her head time. I said you should give her head time to cover her head. So when they gave her head time, he said, no, she won't cover her head. <laughs> you will not cover your head here. It's not going to happen. Am I not the preacher here? <laughs> hey. She stood there and said she should go. Please allow her to go. She's not ready for eternal life. When she's ready, she will come and see with double covering of her head. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Preach this truth. Respect nobody. If a person is walking contrary to the truth, uh -huh, man, what's happening? What's happening to you? You're, you want to cause confusion here. Don't bring a sinner to the pulpit. Mm. And maybe if I favor him, don't favor be done to the wicked man. He shall not learn righteousness. Yes, sir. Don't be bring a sinner to the pulpit. Conform. Conform. You will not conform, stay there. The pulpit is a holy place. The pulpit is a holy place and it's for holy people. When the people see that you're serious, some of these prayers that you're praying, devil, 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 go, devil, go. Just do the truth, devil will just go by himself. <laughs> Amen. 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 You need to be suffering and pray. Preach, just be walking on truth, doing things on truth. When the devil doesn't find chance, what will he do? Maintain a clean place for Jesus. 
Again, the Bible says, associate with the people of truth. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Flee also youthful lust, but follow after righteousness, peace, faith, patience, charity with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. The instruction has been given. God told you. God has told you. If you miss heaven, that's your own. He told you, you are respecting churches, you are respecting pastors. And my pastor, in fact, if he does not see me, uh, if he does not see me, he, he will not be happy. Uh, my pastor, you know, I am the one helping him to prepare the people for hellfire. If I don't come there. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm telling you, God opened the door for you to escape. Hey, Jesus. You're busy pitying your pastor. Okay. Hey. He that walks with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. This thing we have said unto you, that ye may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Follow the people of truth. You will make it. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. If they ask you to walk two kilometers, you may not be able to trek for two kilometers or three. But if we go in company, you will be able. Because there's the grace of company, grace of multitude. This helping one another, helping, giving courage to one another. Be where you will be encouraged to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Let's rise up upon our feet and thank the Lord for the world he has given to us. Mm. You're worthy.
Lord, grant it an opportunity to come and deliver this message. Tomorrow we're going to hear the testimony that's in the evening. That one is going to be in the evening. But we have morning session, which starts from 9 o'clock. Because we're not always here. We're going. We want to deposit enough for you. Amen. Amen. So, the Lord give you grace to be here at 9. In Jesus' name. Amen. 9 to 12, 13, maybe. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Indeed, the Lord has spoken to us. Amen. Amen. The Lord has spoken to us. I was just thanking the Lord while I was sitting down there. Father, thank you for speaking to us tonight. Yesterday evening too, it was powerful. So I believe the Lord has a lot in stock for us in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, the Bible says that, Open thou my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of your world. The word of God was inspired by the Holy Spirit. And it is the Holy Spirit alone that can make you to build wondrous things out of that world. When our Father in the Lord was talking, you know, the, the Spirit of God was just, you know, ministering it and telling me and making it clearer the more to me. Is that how can you give what is precious to somebody who doesn't value it? That is why God will draw his word from people. You will, you will read the word of God, you will not understand. Because God is saying, why should I waste my time telling you this? He said, can we continue in sin and ask the grace of God to abound? God forbid. How can I keep supplying the grace and you keep frustrating it? So I pray that tonight as we have heard the word of God, the truth will give ourselves wholly to him. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray you will give yourself wholly to him in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the program continues tomorrow. And we pray that the Lord will make it possible for you to be here Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's stand up and uh, our Father and our God, we thank you for tonight. Lord, accept our thanks. Father, we thank you because you have directly spoken to us. And Lord, we know that when you speak your word, you will release grace. Father, the grace that you have released tonight, we pray that we will avail ourselves of that grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, that the word that we have heard will transform us and establish us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, as we go, let your presence go with us Amen. and give us rest in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace in fellowship. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you all.
Don't play with them. Don't allow anybody to play politics over your carry away this thing from you. Be careful, let no man take your crown. Amen. That's the word. Let no man take your crown. Therefore, having gotten this, so this drug is working. This is your sickness that you have been struggling from place to place. You never go to the show. So you go to a drug that is working, buy more of it. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> buy more. Buy the truth and send it now. Explore and get more. To know this thing deeper. Get more of this truth. Search for it. Get more of it. Get more. This truth that changed you like this. This truth that brought peace to your life. Brought peace to your heart. Set to peace between you and another. Get your assurance of heaven. Delve yourself more into it. Amen. Acts of Apostles chapter 17. I read verse 11. And these were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the world with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so, verse 12. Therefore, many of them believed, also of honorable women, which were Greeks, and of men, not a few. They search the scripture. Give yourself to the study of the Bible. Listening to these steps. They are there in your, your YouTube. Click Holy the Bible Movement. Messages will come. Righteous and holy. For you to eat and drink spiritually. Give yourself to it. Study. Get it. They, this one went into the scriptures and kept on reading. Keep on reading, keep on reading, and got greater and greater conviction of truth that sedimented into their heart, sedimented in their heart. So, delve into it. Don't allow yourself to be so carried away that you have not reading the Bible. Don't allow yourself to be so carried away. You are not listening to texts again in your meeting. Coordinator, be playing tapes for these people. Those messages the Lord anoint, anoint, has specially anointed them. Then the packages he has given to the world is in time. Be listening to them. In your houses, be listening to them. In your meeting, be listening to them. Play, ask questions, share among yourselves. Learn it, sink into it. The messages that changed you, that gave you eternal life. Yet thou hast the words of eternal life. In Psalm 119, Psalm 119, the Bible tells us in verse 97. Let me read from verse 97 to 106. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation of the day. Thou, through thy commandments, has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. 
I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might, I may, I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgment, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy ways unto my test. Yeah, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Let the word be sweet to you. Get more of it. Get more of it. Listen more. Study more. Go. Go forward. Go forward. Carry it along with you. As you're traveling, yeah, as much as you can find your play, time in your workplace, get yourself filled with it. Filled with this truth. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have shown and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. <coughs> Delve into it more. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1 <coughs> Timothy chapter 4, I read verse 13 to verse 15. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Can you see the assignment Paul gave to Timothy? We also give assignment to you. Listen to church. For this year, we said listen to 120 messages. How many of you are doing it? Are there people here doing it? Uh -huh. You have come, go now into it. The rapture will pick you on the way. Those businesses will clean you and perfect you and get you ready for the rapture. Amen? Amen. Till I come. Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by a prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the priest battery. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them that they profit in that prayer. To all. Give yourself fully. Don't keep on coming here. Release yourself to these messages and these truths. Don't listen to any other thing. Don't allow any church to deceive you. Don't say hey, all churches are the same. All churches are not the same. All hospitals are not the same. All schools are not the same. So don't listen to those things. Give thyself wholly to them, completely to them, that the thy profiting, the benefit of your life will appear to all. So, explore. Practice the truth. James chapter 1, verse 22. The 24. <clears throat> but be ye doers of the world, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the world and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetting what manner of man he was. Be a doer of his world. Husbands, do your wives practice this world? They come to all this viral movement. They hear the qualitative world, which many have no privilege to hear. Do they go to live in a <coughs> Or they still go to give you tough times at home? They are not doers. Wives, do your husbands who come to this movement listen to this message? Do they behave well? As people have seen the light, have seen the truth, today, people who have gotten the privilege to hear from Jesus directly. Be it doers of the world and not hearers only. One another. Do you behave well towards one another? Or you cheat one another? You come here after all this world. You don't go to practice it. You still tell lies. You still cheat. You play anger. You pull down things. You break things. 
keep mal is not talking to each other. Hey. If you miss this place, yeah. if you miss the heaven this world will give you, this truth, your hellfire will be bigger. Because your hellfire is that of somebody who knows the truth and refuses to practice it. You are worse than the person who didn't know the truth. Because in hell, oh God, if I had known it, if I had known, if I had known, what would you be saying, Your own? What would you be saying? It shall be more tolerable for you. I mean, for so don't anger more than for you. For if the works that are done in Jew were done in Sodom and Gomorrah, they had repented far in dust and ashes. Because they were in darkness. If this all was in very unfortunate, some of these innocent ones perishing in these churches, if they had opportunity to hear these messages, you would have seen them. Jumping, fresh. But why could you hear? How would we hear them and be behaving differently? The judgment will not be the same. Because you've got more grace. He that climbs, many people climb up on a tree and both and all fell, but the injuries according to the level of your the height of your climbing up. The height. The injury is according to the height. Your distance from the earth. For you to know this truth and play with it, no, your, your, your judgment is different. Don't play with it. Be a doer. Practice it. Not easy, but go and plead with God. Take time pleading with God. When you're walking on the road, side, be pleading with Him. Be pleading with God. When you're walking on the road, side, it's like a, a lady and a brother in Nigeria. He went for NYC service, NYAC, National Youth Service Course, which uh, graduate from universities do. Uh, immediately they, they graduate for one year. So he, he is a medical doctor. He graduated as a medical doctor. Was posted to a state. And the young ladies there were competing over him. This one said, I will be the one to catch him. This one said, I will be the one to catch him. I will be the one. You will see, you will see, you will see. So they were making competition. He was not aware that such the music meeting was held. <laughs> so, this one will come and say, Doctor, I'm sick. You'll dress fine. I said, Doctor, I'm sick. Oh, okay, you are sick. What's the problem? My womanhood. You need to examine it. <laughs> this one come. Various times. <laughs> eh? This brother will, as I was told, as he would go to office in the morning, on the way he was praying. God, I didn't come to this town to die. I didn't come. All powers. All manipulations. You will never get me. I pull you down. I destroy you. Amen. Get out! He meant business. And none of those girls who were in competition won. Praise the Lord. Walk on yourself. Pray. All those things you fail. That anger in your life. That lust. All this nakedness on the street. Pray that God should give you another heart. Amen. All these lies you tell, God, take away the fear that makes me tell lies. Pray with him. Cry. Be a doer of the world. For now you have no heaven is prayer. Testimonies have come from there. You now you have no hell is prayer. <coughs> Testimonies have come from there. Will you perish? No. No. Walk up. Ensure you don't perish. Preach the truth. Preach this truth. Now that you know it. Now that you know that the truth is God's. You have come 
at the truth and have received the training. Don't pity man here. Preach the truth. Because some of these people that are sitting here, if you think you will pity them, they are not ready for heaven. Now let's lower it, let's lower it. You will lower everybody away from heaven. And yet you will not enter. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Preach the truth. It is the truth that attracts people. Amen. And when they come, they will not go away. He that is not for the truth, let him go. Is that clear? Yes. Even when the people forsook Jesus, he, he asked the twelve, are you not going away? You are free to go. You don't know want, you can go. But those who are looking for truth will want it. Yes. They will hear the testimony that truth is somewhere and they will come. Yes. So preach this truth and respect no person. Pity nobody. Jesus said to me, don't pity man, pity me. I went to the cross so fast. A man is wasting my is wasting my cross. I want to pity him. Pity me. Preach me in all fullness to the people. He that will take, let him take. He that will not take, let him go. Simple. Don't change the standard. If you see wrong thing in love, instruct it. This one is wrong. Amen? Amen. Correct it. No, 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 I will go. A woman came to the meeting. And uh, uh, I dis she didn't cover her head. I chose, I, I chose to give her head time. I said she should give her head time to cover her head. So when they gave her head time, they said, no, she won't cover her head. <laughs> <laughs> you will not cover your head here. It's not going to happen. Am I not the preacher here? <laughs> yeah. She stood there and said she should go. Please allow her go. She's not ready for eternal life. When she's ready, she will come and see with double covering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Preach this truth. Respect nobody. If a person is walking contrary to the truth, uh, man, what's happening? What's happening to you? You're, you want to cause confusion here. Don't bring a sinner to the pulpit. Mm. And maybe if I favor him, don't favor be done to the wicked man. He shall not learn righteousness. Yes, sir. Mm. Don't be bring a sinner to the pulpit. Conform. Conform. You will not conform. Stay there. The pulpit is a holy place. The pulpit is a holy place and it's for holy people. When do people say that you're serious? Some of these prayers that you pray, hey, devil, 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 go, devil, go. Just do the truth, devil will just go by himself. <laughs> Amen. 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 You need to be suffering and preach. Just be walking on truth, doing things on truth. When devil doesn't find chance, what will he do? <laughs> Maintain a clean place for Jesus. Again. The Bible says, associate with the people of truth. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Flee also youthful lust, but follow after righteousness. Peace, faith, patience, charity with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. The instruction has been given. God told you. God has told you. If you miss heaven, that's your own. He told you. You are respecting churches. You are respecting pastors. And my pastor, in fact, if he does not see me, and uh, if he does not see me, he will not be happy. Uh, my pastor, you know, I am the one helping him to prepare the people for hellfire. If I don't come there, 
God opened the door for you to escape. Hey, you are busy pitying your pastor. Okay. Hey. He that walks with wise men shall be wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. These things we have said unto you, that ye may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son Jesus Christ. Follow the people of truth. You will make it. Amen. 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 If they ask you to walk two kilometers, you may not be able to trek for two kilometers or three. But if we go in company, you will be able. Because there's the grace of company, grace of multitude. This helping one another, helping even courage to one another. Be where you will be encouraged to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Let's rise up upon our feet and thank the Lord for the world he has given to us. They are worthy. Oh, 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 
to list, get sin out of my life to serve you. Raise up your hand and pray for you. Yes. That's beautiful. Let's talk to him and ask the Lord. Lord Jesus, here am I. I want to serve you. Wash those things, this evil thing out of my life. Wash it out of my heart. Forgive me my sin. Tell him about it. Tell him about it. Forgive me my sin, Lord. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. I won't do it. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Lord, take over my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Repeat this prayer. Lord Jesus. I give my life to you. Lord, come into my heart. Lord, come into my heart. Save me from my sin. Save me from my sin. Forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. I have decided. I have decided to give my life to you. To give my life to you. To serve you. To serve you in righteousness and holiness. In righteousness and holiness. Give me your power to do so. Give me your power to do so. Lord, thank you for hearing me. Lord, thank you for hearing me. Break every power of Satan in my life. Break every power of Satan in my life. Free me from the power of Satan. Free me from the power of Satan. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have become your own today. I have become your own today. Jesus mighty in my prayer. Jesus mighty in my prayer. Amen. 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 Okay. Lord Jesus, we thank you because you say whoever calls upon you, you will hear him. You will deliver him. Thank you for this one. That I call on you. Thank you for this, my sister. That I say, Lord, today is my day. Amen. I release myself to Jesus. Amen. God, change her. Amen. And every other one, God that has made this confession, change them. Amen. Put the hunger and taste of God into their heart. Amen. Let God be supreme. Amen. Above dollar. Amen. Above America. Amen. Above man. Amen. Above woman. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for answering. Thank you. Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus I believe
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I believe.